What is up fellow Yu-Gi-Oh fans, I am the one and only Glen Gwynn, welcome to the channel. Boys and girls, in front of you you can see the deck profile for the, my Shadol Trains post ban list July 2019. If you do enjoy this deck profile then please consider smashing that like button, consider subscribing to the channel and becoming a Glen pal today where you can see more epic Yu-Gi-Oh content and more deck profiles. So let's get into it. Um, obviously, we've had a few cards that have been hit in the current ban list, and obviously, Altergei, Salomon Great, Sky Strikers, all cast, everything pretty much got hit in the current meta, but trains are still going strong, so let's showcase you the deck profile. So, we're going to start with three Super Express Bullet Trains. Fantastic card, one of the best cards in the deck. I think this is just like the standard lineup, so we're going to go through them quite quickly. Uh, three Heavy Freight Train Derecrane. And that's a special summon whenever you special summon or normal summon an Earth Machine Monster. So you're getting out all these level 10s for the rank 10 XEs plays. We do run the brand new Battle of he uh, Legends Heroes Revenge cards, like the new Link Monsters. So we'll show you that also today. Uh, we're playing three Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede. Uh, the one Night Express Knight. I've decided to cut this down because it does kind of brick in your hand at times. The one Ruffian Rail card. I've decided to play this. I see a few people that don't play this card, but I think it's actually a really good card and it can extend and you can add one add one level 10 Earth Machine Monster from your deck to your hand with this card. So I think it's a really good card. Um, so that's all the train cards pretty much. Going into the Shadows, we're playing the one Shadow Beast and it's really good that this got reprinted in the new set. It is an ultra rare, but I do like the original uh, rare that it's in. So if this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you get to draw one card. That's as good as it gets. And then I'm playing the one Shadol Hedgehog. Now, I would really recommend that you take this out and you play something else. Play something like Shadol Dragon. I think it's a hell of a lot better. This card does absolutely nothing for you. So I do fully recommend Shadol Dragon. So I would suggest I'm going to just flip it that way. Just so you don't play Shadol Hedgehog. Because I do not own a Shadol Dragon. I just thought I'd showcase you just something different. You could play Shadol Squat Marta. You could play something completely different. But Shadol Dragon is definitely the best one. Um, I always play Dynarestor Pancratops. Most of the time this deck is an OTK deck, it is going second, so Pancratops is a free special summon and it really does help with problematic boards and problematic cards on the field, so you get to tribute and pop a monster. I am playing uh, two Gamma Seals uh, and they get in more problematic stuff that is on board. You use Gamma Seal and then you can special summon other Kaijus, which is why I am also playing the one Jizakiru, the star destroying Kaiju. Now this is more of a target if I haven't already used it for Shadows, uh, like for the fusion plays. Obviously I have Shadow Construct in my extra deck. Now not many people are playing there, I just like that card very much, especially when it comes to battling a monster, you get to destroy it immediately. So this would be my target, but if not you can always get over this card when you Kaiju your opponent with your Xyz monster, so that is why I'm running that. Now. This kind of conflicts with a certain card in the deck and you're all going to hate me, but I am playing two effect failures. Not that's this is not the reason that you're gonna hate me. You're gonna gonna hate me for the field spell, and obviously when I say it like that, you know what field spell is coming up. So that is the monster lineup, and I'm running two effect failures just to you know stun your opponent and negate their monster effects from going off. Uh, we're running the one terraforming, unfortunately, now is down to limited. It does suck that the Konami actually put that on the ban list not so long ago, when, especially during the making of this video. So I was running two, but now it's down to limited. We are running two revolving switch yards, and the reason why we are running two revolving switch yards instead of three is because sometimes we need to slow our opponent down, and this is why you're going to hate me, because I'm going to just slap that card down right there. We are running two Mystic Mind, ladies and gentlemen. I know I feel like a dirty scrub from playing it, but if I really do need to have emergency plays, we have the one terraforming, we have the one metaverse that we're running right now, and obviously we need this card sometimes in emergencies in this deck, because sometimes your opponent will take you to the long game, and you will play this and you'll need to sort them out until you find the right cards. So I do fully recommend playing Mystic Mind in this deck, and I, like I said, it does conflict with Effect Veiler just a little bit, but it's okay because we're naughty playing it. So I only own 
uh, two urgent schedules, but that's okay because I am also running the one special schedule with it. I really do like this card also because you do have monsters in your graveyard most of the time. So special schedule is actually a really good card where you can special summon um, one machine type monster in your graveyard with 3000 or more attack. Special summon the target in face up defense position. Really good card. And if this set card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target one level 10 machine type monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. I'll probably never do that unless I'm trying to bait my opponent out so I can have fodder in my graveyard to add back to my hand but most of the time it's really good and nice replacement if you don't own a third urgent schedule kind of like me but I'm trying to do the best deck profile that I can with the cards that I have and then we are running three beautiful Shadow Fusions. This card is absolutely fantastic. It's a phenomenal card. You fusion summon one fusion, uh, Shadow Mu uh, Fusion monster from your extra deck. That is a mouthful. And you can, uh, if your opponent controls an extra deck monster, you can use cards from your deck, which is why I say cards like uh, Jisakiru, or you can actually use Effect Veiler if you don't need it. I mean, not many people would do that, but because it's a light attribute, you can actually use it for Shadow Construct. So that is why Shadow Fusion is a fantastic card. We are running Triple Call by the Grave to stop hand traps, obviously. Um, I'm running one Monster Reborn. Now, obviously, it is limited anyway, but when I say I'm running Monster Reborn, you don't really see many people play Monster Reborn at the moment. The reason I am playing it is because it's always in hope of top decking and always uh, reborning your stuff from Graveyard or using your opponent's monsters, however you want to play it. Good extender for your deck, and it really does get you out of trouble. I have won a duel with this card, and it's just really nice to top deck and get that clutch win when you need it. I don't really tend to play this spell card, but also as a side note, you could actually just throw these in. You could actually just play also two Pot of Desires. The reason why this card is actually really good in the deck is because it doesn't actually matter what you're banishing. As long as it's none of your Shadow cards, which you're only playing two, it's highly unlikely that they're going to be hit anyway, especially with all the trains that we're playing in the deck too. So it's always nice to delve deeper into your deck. So throwing into my trap cards, we're not running many. Uh, two Infinite Impermanent just purely because you can stop a column if you you know if you're in that column negating cards and obviously it's so good because you can't get hit by call by the grave with this card uh, the one metaverse obviously it's limited now and then I am actually really surprisingly playing two solemn strikes I'm stunning my opponent as much as I can I'm trying to stop them from bringing their special summon monsters out or any monster effect that I deem worthy of this card to actually hit that monster so that is why I'm running two solemn strikes you can always side out and your side deck can be up to personal preference as I always say in my uh, deck profiles so use this as a guideline to how you would like to play the deck now as for the extra deck I am running uh, Pretty standard lineup to be honest. We're running two Super Dreadnought, Rail Cannon, Juggernaut, Libe. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Libe is your OTK condition. You would go into your Gustav Max or any card that you need to. Most of the time you'll detach from Gustav Max. Do 2,000 points of damage. This card will actually go to 6,000 and you can attack multiple times with this card. So it's an amazing card which is why we are running two. Never really play more than one, to be honest, because of the OTK. Uh, Cannon Super Adora is really, really good in this deck also. Okay, you're, okay, you're targeting uh, a face-up monster on the field. You're, it's unaffected by card effects, except for its own effects. And it's a really good card, because this will be unaffected also. 3,200 beat stick also. You can't really complain about the card. All these cards are so powerful. Like this, It's amazing that you can get into these so quickly. As I was speaking about just about a moment ago, you're running Gustav Max, there's the 2,000 points of damage. Then we are running one Sky Palace, uh, Ganga Gangaridai. Hopefully I'm saying that right. It just looks amazing, this card. But again, you get to destroy a card on the field. Okay, you, you can't attack this turn, but the good thing is you can do 1,000 da damage with this card. It's fantastic, 3,400 beat stick. And then we have the big boy. This is your Heavy Storm Duster of the deck. This is Super Dimensional Robot Galaxy Destroyer. Three level 10 monsters. It's completely worth playing considering you're playing card like back rows like Sky Strikers. You wipe your opponent's spells and traps from their field. Your opponent cannot activate spells and trap cards to response to this effects activation. This basically just destroys Sky Strikers, throws them out of the water. They're pretty much done anyway considering multi roll got hit to one. So they're just languishing and they're looking up at this card and it's a 5000 beat stick so you can't really complain so that is all the XZ's monsters then we're running the brand new card with one the one and only double headed anger knuckle fantastic card for the deck really good generic link to 
especially for machine monsters and it does allow you in the main phase for the quick effect to send one monster from your hand or field to the graveyard and then target one level 10 monster machine monster in your graveyard to special summon it in defense but negate its effects it's an amazing extender so good and then we're running the standard cleavalt genius and a one under clock taker to help you help you out on your plays and a one pentastag also to help you and then last but not least for the side deck where there's the one El Shadow Construct fantastic card I'm so glad they bought that off the uh, ban list it's an amazing card it doesn't really affect anyone well apart from when you're battling and if it is sent from the field to the graveyard you can target one Shadow Spell and Trap i.e. your Shadow Fusion and then you can bring out cards like El Shadow Shakanaga so boys and girls that is the extra deck and then we're going into the side deck, like I said, personal preference on the side deck, depending on who you're facing in your current format and in your local area. I am playing Double Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. I love my 2-2-2 two, two, two ratios, as you can tell. Double Artifact Scythe. Uh, I made the exception for Artifact Lancia. I really do play this a lot, especially stopping my opponent from, you know, doing anything in the graveyard. So it's a fantastic card to stop their plays. Uh, double uh, Cosmic Cyclone, it's nice to just have that quick play spell just to out most cards on the field and banishing them. Red Reboots for the uh, Altergeist plays, evenly matched, throws your opponent off guard, you could have no cards in your hand going and they'll, you'll be going second. Your opponent will have a whole board, go to battle phase, end of battle phase, evenly matched. It just stops them in their tracks. And then I've decided to put Crackdown in the side deck because obviously your opponent's always going to make you go first when it comes to trains. If you OTK them, they're going to force you to go first. So it's always nice for you to set this card past turn and then just watch your opponent squirm when you take all their monsters away from them. So boys and girls, that is my deck profile. Thank you very much for watching and all the love and support you boys and girls do show me in the comment section. I do keep an eye on things. I do watch from time to time. Obviously, I don't really respond to any negative comments because it is just a children's card game at the end of the day. It is expensive, but it's still a children's card game. You guys need, and girls need to grow up sometimes. So stop shouting at me, please. It makes me very upset. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please hit that like button please subscribe to the channel for more content and i'll see you boys and girls in the next deck profile glenguin is signing out peace